Hello YouTube, how are you doing today? I'm Sermonia coming YouTube today. Today is day four of the 100 day healing journey and talk, not really, you know, I would say healing, but also fun talks that we're going to talk about as well. So today's subject is about forgiveness. So the first thing I'm going to talk about as far as forgiveness and uh, all of this stuff is stuff that's from experience. It's not like, hey, um, you know, this is just stuff from experience that I want to share with you guys that could help. Because sometimes we go through things in life and you just hold on to it and not share your story or share the information that you want to other people to learn. Um, sometimes your story can help someone else. I've been getting emails and text messages and so uh, I have lots of more ideas and lots of things that uh, people want to talk about and encourage other women and men to do. So the first thing with forgiveness is you need to forgive yourself. Sometimes you need to forgive yourself for others. But sometimes you have to forgive yourself for the things, for the pain that was caused to you or, or for the things that you allowed to happen in your life. Sometimes you can beat yourself up and beat the other person up and be like, blame this person. This person did this. This person did that. This person did this over and over and over. Or this person did this or the people on my job. But you have to say, you know what? I allowed this to happen. So I first need to forgive myself. In one instance, uh, it wasn't a thing that I allowed to happen. But when I lost my dad... I blamed myself daily for years. And one day I had to come to the conclusion that, well, I had to get therapy and help for myself first. But I came to the conclusion that, you know what? This isn't my fault. There's nothing I could do. And I have to forgive myself. And forgiveness is a daily commitment. Sometimes I journal and write down and, be, and, and and just write down the things that I don't forgive myself for, that I need help on, I need to forgive. Uh, when you hold unforgiveness in your heart, it hinders you from your blessings that God has for you. It hinders you from uh, new jobs. It hinders you from new relationships. It hinders you from healing here. Uh, people suffer from high blood pressure. I'm one. Uh, people suffer from migraines. You have to free your mind, free yourself, and be at peace with yourself first. So in forgiveness, I say forgive yourself first. Make your own happiness a peace of mind your priority. Make yourself your priority. Write it down and say, and look at yourself and say, you know what? I forgive myself for this and you might have to say it again the next day you might have to say it in for weeks but it's a healing process healing doesn't happen overnight sometimes it takes time you can't hold on you can't hold grudges things that happen to you things that people do to you you have to release that release the pain release the heartache release that so good things can come back into your life because if you hold on to that and hold unforgiveness in your heart and for yourself you have to let that go. Sometimes we did things in our childhood or when we were younger that we don't forgive ourselves for. And forgive yourself for that. It's in the past. You can't build a future and, and conquer your dreams holding on to past mistakes. Let those past mistakes go. Heal. Move forward. And dream again. Live again. Love again. Laugh again. Do all those things, but it first starts with forgiveness for yourself. So this is just the first segment on forgiveness. Just a little touch on forgiveness for right now because I'm having an issue with uploading the, the uh, videos after so many minutes. But I'm going to conquer that in a little while. I'm not too tech savvy, but my sister is, so she's going to help me with all of that. So forgive yourself, love yourself, let go of the past so you can have healing and blessings can come into your life. So there's going to be another segment on forgiveness as far as forgiving others, but you have to first forgive you and love you. Peace and blessings. See you next time.